everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back. We are sitting here with Eric, S.A., I mean Jesse, and Justy. So, Justin, what are we doing today? Uh, today we're going to go up to Thorpe, Wisconsin to get a 8300 John Deere grain drill with a small seat attachment in front of it. So, Justin asked us to use our trailer, so I decided to ride along with him. Um, Eric's driving because... Why are you driving? Because you don't have a fifth wheel, right? Yeah, or, uh, I don't goose have a goose neck attachment. Yeah. So, anyway, um, Thorpe is about 164 miles. 164 miles from home. And um, we're out the trailer out. We're taking it up there now. Um, I will guess I'll update you guys once we get there. One thing I'm noticing, though, is that we're, as we're starting to head north, it really didn't take us long to find a heck of a lot more snow than what we have at home. Forty nine sixty sitting there. I gotta go look at that. Oh, forty nine sixty. Yeah. I was actually just looking on that online too. I wonder what they you want, want know for what it. They're asking for it. What are they asking for it? Right around about thirty five thousand. Ooh, that's actually not bad. Yeah, I know. I wanted to buy it. Well, I'm gonna go look at that before we leave. <laughs> Sales rep was going to be helping me. My name is Justin Rowling, and I'm here to take a look at a grain drill. Okay, okay. Uh, Paul is going to be your guy. It looks like he's just got a couple people in there now. Okay. But uh, as soon as he's done, head on in. Got it. So, while Justin is talking to the sales rep about the drill that we're going to be taking home, we're going to go take a little peek at something we spotted coming in. Hello, baby. Where have you been all my life? So, we're here at Swiderski Implement. And, uh, there's actually a pretty nice 4960 here. All right. This is actually a pretty clean tractor. Justin said that he saw it on here and he said that it was selling for about 35,000. That's actually a pretty decent price for 4960. Well, what do we have here? That is indeed the key. Huh. 6100 hours. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Um, with a tractor like this that has 6,100 hours on it, uh, it's probably going to be needing an overhaul uh, in about one to 2,000 more hours, um, more or less, depending on how the tractor has been treated. And cosmetically, it looks really good. Um, this thing is almost spotless. So, I don't know. Um, I just kind of have a thing for 4960s. I think they're really cool tractor um i've always kind of wanted one especially when i was growing up um i saw that they were out and they were just kind of the tractors that i always i always liked so anyway um yeah i guess we're gonna go back and find justin now this is actually a really clean tractor 
I've always had a bit of a preference for quad range tractors. This is a power shift. And um, one thing I don't really like about these is that you have to shift through all the gears to get to the gear that you want. Um, I kind of like shifting two different knobs, um, put it in the gear range that you want and then select your position. Um, I don't know, but this is kind of similar to the 7600. Uh, again, wasn't always crazy about it, but um, for 4960, they're I don't even know if they made quad ranges for these tractors because every single one that I've seen has had the power shift in it. So we're going to head back, walk around, and um, just see what else they have here. <laughs> She's been sitting here a while. Batteries are cold. All right. It's actually a really nice tractor. We got three SCVs back here. Large thousand PTO. Looks like there used to be a three point switch up here. Not totally sure where that's gone. Missing a PTO shield. Missing a, missing a cover for the hydraulic there. No big deal. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, I know I'm not going to be able to buy this thing since I just purchased Big Red and I'm worried about paying that off, firstly. But um, anybody else who's looking for a tractor, come to Swiderski Implement or Equipment. Swiders, Swiderski Equipment in Thorpe, Wisconsin. Wow. Well, look at the differences in the tires here. Obviously, those are a little bit less dry rotted. You can tell from all the little cracks. These ones have been left out in the sun and or are just really old. All in all, even the duels are in pretty good condition. I mean, they're not the greatest in the world, but they'd work for a while. All right. If I could buy a tractor, it'd be a 4960. Look at what? I saw from here that the outer tire looked like it was crooked a little bit. But I think it's just the way it's sitting. Yeah. All right. Eric just brought it up on his phone and it has 6,100 hours on it. We saw that. 1993 with 30, 32,000 is all they're asking for it. That is really darn good because when I was looking into 4960s about a year ago, um, there were a good 4960 was only, only about 42,000 was about the lowest you went. Anything below 40,000 and uh, they were kind of junk. Um, and this one has pretty low hours compared to some of the other ones I saw out there. But um, yeah, I'd love to hop in one of those someday. They also have a 7820 here. Doesn't have the light kit on it. Had a no smoking sticker on it. Makes me wonder if it was a business or owned by a business or something. Keys in this one too. Look this one up, Eric. Uh, Fuel level low. Fuel level system. Ooh, 12,000 hours. <laughs> if she hasn't had an overhaul, she's gonna need one. How much? 55. 55? How many horse does it say? I can't remember the horse of a 7820. I used to know. 155. 155. So to me, a 4960 would be a better buy, especially that one. Uh, yeah, this one might be newer. It might have some more of the bells and whistles. It's got a left-hand reverser on it. But, um, that's for maybe the radio. Yep. This is another tractor that I'd love to drive one day. Hmm. 
pretty nifty. Ah. That 4960 is much cleaner than this one. On the inside, this one's ripped up. The upholstery. Yeah. Really? Here's a semi. Happy cows come from unity. unity. Got milk. Unity Wisconsin. Are they keeping it? Farms. <laughs> what a great farm name. It's got, this one actually has a splitter in it. I'm getting a phone call. Are you? Justin Rowling. Hey, what's up? Uh, we're out back. Oh, the keys are in it. Okay. Okay, we'll walk up. All right, all right. All right, we gotta go back. He found the keys. Should we go? Yeah. I meant for a ride. <laughs> yeah. Did you take a look at the inside though? No. Some of them, some of the insides look like they're plugged with dirt, oh, or really? dirt and old seed. So that's what I'm worried about. He said, no, it just came in the end of October. Oh, really? Yeah, so if anything, if anything's bad on it, it's used as is. Yeah. I think she should be pretty good for you. All the gears are running. That's good. Yeah, it is. Uh, have him turn it. That end needs to come up. Never mind. There you go. Yeah, they're all strapped down. We got her loaded. Now we're gonna make the trip back home. It's roughly three and a half hours. After food. After food. Where are we going? I don't know. Just literally Google food. Buffalo Wild Wings. Okay. <laughs> there's, pro there's considering where we are. There's probably one like 200 miles away. Dubuque. Dubuque. <laughs> Madison. You go to torpedoes. Torpedoes. No. McDonald's. I'm buying, so it doesn't matter. Hardy's. I saw Hardy somewhere. They want two, thirty-two thousand for that. It has oh. six one, sixty-one hundred hours on it. And this seventy-eight twenty has twice as many hours, and they want twenty grand more for it. It's no. not as good for upholstery either. Now the inside is kind of. No, I can see the upholstery tears from here. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. What kind of name is Cataract Mark? Jesse, buy more stuff so we can go in more. <laughs> what do I look like? <laughs> See ya. See ya. So we made it back with the 8300 grain drill. Now we're taking it to Justin's right now where we're gonna offload it from the trailer. When we got back last night, uh, we were debating taking it off in the pitch dark, but we decided that it would probably be better to just wait till morning, so Eric parked it in his driveway. And um, yeah, we're gonna try to pull up to a bank and set the ramps down on it and just try to work it off that way. But um, as we all probably know, things usually don't go that smooth according to plan. But um, yeah, we'll just kinda see what we got and see how well it'll work and uh, get it off. So Justin's gonna be using this 
uh, on his family farm and um, he needed our trailer and his cousin Eric uh, was the one driving the truck so I don't know if anybody's gonna ask me why I'm not using my truck to do it but um, yeah he already had a truck which was Eric's and his truck doesn't have a gooseneck so um, yeah we're heading there now That's fine. Don't judge me. For what? I'm taking this long. Good I'm not I'm judging you. All right, um, set it down. It's gonna slide. We should move the blocks. Why? Okay. Just let it come back. Move back. Just watch the trailer. You gotta push them in and then pull them out. This might be a little interesting getting them up on there. Good. Okay. Down, down. Lower, yeah. This is the curvature of the road. Stick to one side if you can. This is the curvature of the road. It's on a hump. Just stick to the side if you can. They're gonna do it. How mad would you be if it was in your just in the middle of your driveway, <laughs> like cockeyed? Cockeyed, and it was put in the wrong way, so we couldn't even get in. Yeah. Yeah. Would you not that? You just came home one day and there was a trailer? <laughs> I would have questions. <laughs> Let, let's be honest, you wouldn't have any questions. You'd be like, Doc! Yeah. I'd know. <laughs> yes, you would. We're all back home now, and I think that the trip went pretty well. There weren't any hiccups. Now, the only thing that 8300 really needs is a lift cylinder, um, which they knew that they needed one, and it looks like it should be a pretty good dr grain drill for them. Now, they said that they were planning to sell their current grain drill on Scott's auction next spring, which, if you'll remember back, Travis and I went to Scott's auction this past spring, and I intend to go to the one next spring as well. But uh, with that, if you enjoyed this video, um, be sure to tell a friend about how farms work. With every one share that we have on a video, that we gain an average of five new subscribers. So, uh, yeah, that should be about it. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.